And now it's also a huge pleasure to welcome uh, Professor Johannes Xenarios, Director of Vital IT at the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. So thank you. And thanks for the nice introduction. Uh, I'm not that old. <laughs> Uh, but yet, I'm actually quite old for a field that is about 30 years, which is bioinformatics. And let me just remind you one thing is, 30 years ago, we were sequencing very small amount of DNA. Nowadays, in less than five hours, we can sequence an entire human genome. From a data point of view, this is a paradigm shift. When I was an undergrad, I chose biology because it was a complex stuff that at the end of the day bring me humility in not understanding how things worked. I didn't like engineering because you build machines. I like reverse engineering without the blueprint. And then when I want to engage more in the computational aspect and the bioinformatics and the biology or the application of computer science, I pretty much got a no-go from colleagues at the EPFL or in technical science that because I was a biologist, I was not suited for learning how to program. Sometimes you should never answer your peer, you should actually go and teach yourself. But the advantage now that we have with such kind of activities such as Daria Teach and the infrastructure and the competencies that we have in the Swiss Institute of Informatics is that we are enabling the new generation to learn hopefully faster to also get an access much more adequately to the right set of tools. And what we hope is also in a time where the tendency is to think that data and knowledge is absorbed very fast, we still need to have this slow food cooking of knowledge. It takes time and it will still take time to be trained. The experiments that we've been doing with Claire and Susan Schreibmann with the SIB has been really a grafting experiment. We tried to look within the SIB whether some of the things we learned over the last 20 years could be transmitted to the digital humanities area. And what we could actually bring forward and what are the things that we are not good at. And definitely, we are not humanist. We are not literature specialists. We are not theologists. We are actually computational biologists. But there are a few aspects is that each and every of the people that need to use these tools, they need to own it. That means all the scientists in the digital humanities should have the toolings, that means the learning of programming, the learning of some of the tooling usage as an asset to them. I'm a biologist by training, but I'm a computational biologist in my job. My tool and my pipettes are computers. For digital humanities, humanist, the tool is the programming, the text encoding, the technology that is in there. And if you don't bring that forward into your own DNA, this is not something that will make a change because you will always depend on computer scientists, engineers that are going to give you their solution. And you are the best to understand what the solution should be you are the best to develop the solution you need. That's why this grafting experiment is an experiment where we could bring and walk part of the road. The other part needs to be done by people like Claire and others. And they need to be brought into your own DNA, like a transgene is brought into a plant or a bacteria in genetically modified organism. So in that sense, what we are doing with these experiments and the Daya Teach is to do this transfer of DNA with you guys. Thank you, and wishing you a good luck for the rest.